Hi there. Come with me and learn about wild edibles. This, this my friends, this is green bush. See this bark? The bark here. It's good for your liver. This is hedge bush. It cleans the spleen. Just eat it. Crispy like a chip. This is boxwood. It grows in the northern deserts of Iraq. It's very drying. These are acalasia flowers. They're so purple and yellowy. Good for your feet. This is just the common dandelion flower. You can take the tip of it and eat it. This is tinfoilia. Very strengthening. Gives you a metal spine. The common dandelion. We all know this one. You pick it, rub it, feels wet, much wetness, like dog urine type of wetness. You may want to uh, rinse it off. These are just wild cauliflower. Steam them up. They strengthen your desire for clothing. This is how mountains start. This, my friends, is a small mountain. Whenever you see a white flower in nature, it's a good idea to eat it. You know, a good 25% of the time, they are not poisonous. And I like those odds. This is a juice box bush. This is where juice boxes grow. This here is a Sasquatch bed. You can tell that a Sasquatch has gathered these branches and this is the resting place of Bigfoot. There's his water bottles. It is clear. There's a Bigfoot around here somewhere. This one here is actually goldenrod. This is a real one, folks. Although all the others were real as well. This is a very good herb. You can make tea out of this. You can steam up the leaves and make a tea out of that. This stuff tastes weird. It's like minty. Strange. Hmm. This is snake skin. Mmm, bitter. Good for your neck and ankles. This stuff here is actually a good alternative for balding men. You just simply, just very simply just rip this off and then you have yourself a hair alternative dashing. This here is a pine cone. This is where you get pine nuts from. I saw this in a video. You simply tap it. And there you go. This here is another hair alternative for my Rastafari brothers. Look at me, ladies. Nature likes to dehydrate too, I see. I think they're ready, nature. Leaf chips. They look delicious. They're not. This tree is a good source of spider webs. 
and bees. This here is rhubarb. You can tell by the stem. And it tastes very delicious, apparently. I think that is rhubarb's cousin, shoebarb. Not as delicious.